when did you get to the NBA Academy? Uh, yeah, so I, it's a pretty long story, but the NBA Academy is kind of a paired program with Basketball Australia's Center of Excellence. So we, uh, you know, I'd done some camps with Australia and as a young, young fella trying to, you know, just showcase my st- skill in front of those Australian coaches and hopefully earn my scholarship there one day. So with that, the NBA Academy coaches were also looking and I got there, did some camps, did a lot of training, trying to just show off my skill and eventually got the call up, you know, maybe a few months later when I was 15 to, you know, go on, make the move and see if I can hold my own against some older boys. Mm -hmm. So got down to Australia's capital in Canberra. Uh, just after grade 10 and right for grade 11 I was starting that at 17 years old. So some notable players from the NBA Academy Josh Giddy, Ben Matherin, uh, Matherin uh, Dyson Daniels as well. Uh, what's the experience like being able to play you know at such a young age again you were 15 when you started what's the experience like to be able to get that professional type development at that age? Uh, really it, you can't compare it to uh, any other I've had, really. Uh, the biggest thing for me I would speak about would be the mental side of it. Like, just seeing how those guys, you know, as I said, I was pretty young going into that. I was 16, 17. Just seeing how those guys carry themselves and the development those guys made, well, because they were 19, 20. Mm-hmm. Just being able to see those guys and how they how they go about their life, how they carry themselves. And just seeing the development they had and how quickly they really took off and got good. You know, Dyson especially. I was I was actually rooming with him at one point. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just seeing how he would he would go about his life and and then take it to the basketball court. You know, he was he was a good kid and good good player when I got there and then he was he was gone in six months. It, it was like that. He got good real quick and got out of there. So, you know, that that was probably the biggest thing for me, just learning some habits off those older guys and really just seeing what it kind of takes to get to that level. Uh, that's something I've experienced firsthand, something I was able to see, and easily the best thing for me. With that also, there was there's probably 30 guys in that program, the NBA Academy and then the Basketball Australia. They're kind of combined. And... You know, it's a training group, so we, we train against each other every day. We're going at each other. There's, we're not really playing that many games, so it's just training, training, training. And, you know, we, when we do get to that end season, we're playing against men. We're, we were in a men's league. So, you know, my tall, skinny frame, I, I learned real quick how to hold my own and, yeah, not just be the little guy out there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but go ahead. Keep talking about that because... You know, Luca, he started off real young overseas as well. What's it like playing against grown men, especially at 15 years old? Again, you talked about you being this tall, lanky kid, but you have to hold your own. You got no choice because these guys are looking to dominate you. They don't care how old you are. How is it mentally to prepare for that? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously 16 years old, 16, 17 especially, really trying to find my own and, not get punked by these older guys it, it's taxing like you it's a process and i'm not just going to say it was oh uh, yeah there's one simple way and i found out uh, heck i'm still figuring out you know playing some of the seniors over here it, it, same thing so you know it's it's not just one simple thing but definitely the mental side of it for me just learning how to be okay with maybe getting scored on a couple of times, but not letting that change the way I play, you know, getting back down the other end and hitting a three, whatever it is, or just setting a good screen so my guy can score. Just, yeah, whatever it is, really learning to not let what anyone else does affect me. So I'd say that's the biggest takeaway that I've found with playing against, you know, those guys. And you ask anyone around our program, I'm, I'm known for being pretty hard on myself. So, I still struggle with that, you know? That's not something I can just give advice on and say I'm perfect at. So 
definitely a learning thing for me. And uh, I think with those old guys especially, you know, I'd want to do my best. I'd want to keep up. But, you know, they, they still got 10 plus years in the bag on me. So at the end of the day, I'm in a good spot. I never switched up, no change in me. The only thing changing this season, you go against me, then you know that you tweaking, okay? Cause baby, I'm him, I be on 10. Two stepping in the party, I do not dance. Watch how I move, make it look easy. Kind of